What's up divas and divos? You already know who it is. So, um, today's video is by samsbeauty.com. It's not really by Sam's Beauty, but you can get the wig there. Um, and this is by Outre. So, this is their lace front and this is Jasmine. Jasmine, Jasmine. Um, and the color I have is the DX2327. You know, Altre has really like stepped up their game with the wigs. Like that's that's what I'm saying. That's like what I be thinking. You know what I'm saying? Like I always tell y'all, these wig companies, they be like trying their best. You know, them slate them wigs. Like I like the slate them wigs. So this is Jasmine, and the, like I said, the color is the um. The DX2327. Now, to me, it doesn't really look like much of anything. When I say much of anything, meaning the color, it just is like some browns and a little bit of honey golds up here. Nothing crazy, because I know like a lot of people, they always like, what's up with the DX? I don't really like those colors, because sometimes they look just kind of like off the wallish. But this one is pretty decent, so I do like this one. Um, it does have a um, soft lace part and it does have adjustable straps in the nape and the comb so but the part is more or less it's a middle part but you girls know you could just definitely do whatever you want you don't have to like you don't have to wear it as a middle part but i'm gonna i'm gonna wear it as a middle part just because of the way it's designed um i'm gonna wear it as a middle part we're gonna see how it looks because it looks really cute the hair texture is not it's a silky texture i'm not gonna lie it's a well i'll never lie but i'm just saying it's a silky texture i wish it would have been a little bit more you know coarser because i just feel like if it was more coarser it would just probably really be on point but you know it's not too silky you know those too silky ones when you'd be like Ugh, this thing is so dang on straight it's not gonna work out it's not like that so you girls you ain't got to worry about that so let's do this wig we're gonna um we're gonna see how she rock out okay so the first thing that I'm going to do is, of course, like I always be saying something and forget what I'm about to say. I'm going to use my concealer um, on the inside of the cap real quick. You know, because I, I really I really do like that kind of like natural look. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, I want it to look like it's my scalp. And then I'll take this. This is pressed powder. Okay, so let's do this magic. Okay, ladies, so let's go ahead and style this wig. So this supposed to be, or this should be, really, really easy because it's just a basic lace front. Um, it's a middle part, but you guys know you can always wear it to the left or to the right, whatever your choice is. So I just went ahead and took off that wig grip, and I'm just going to smooth my hair down a little bit underneath the wig. Um, so that way it'll look more natural. I'm just going to take out a few strands of my own hair, like, you know, some little antennas. That's just going to serve the purpose of just a natural hairline, so that way it this looks less detectable, you don't see where that wig line or that wig actually starts and stops. Now, like I said, the color is a really different, but it just kind of looks basic to me. Most of those DX colors are really, really more or less kind of like funky colors, but this one is kind of like plain. And I like plain, I just kind of like like gamble with this one because, you know, sometimes the websites, they don't really give you like a great visual of how those DX colors would look. Um, and I really wish they would, but for the most part, the pure color is really nice. It just looks like... So as you see, I went ahead and I did conceal the part, but you know, we gotta make it look a little bit more natural, we just can't sit it there like that, we gotta rub that concealer in, in the wig, so we don't wanna leave it just sitting here, we gotta take out a little bit more of our hair, we have to pull it back, we don't want the wig right on our hairline, you know, we have to make it look as natural as possible, I know, I don't know about you guys, but I've always been paranoid to go outside with a wig, because I just don't want anybody to know that I'm wearing a wig, so I just like try my best to make sure that it looks as natural as possible, Possible. I mean, you don't have to think it's a weed, but just think it's a really good gag on weed. I mean, that's how I feel about it, but, you know, with today, today's age and, you know, style trends, I guess I really don't care, but I just want to look as natural as possible. So, you know, the baby hair thing is popping. I don't know what has been. When it has ever stopped popping, so more or less, I just like to do it now myself. But before I get into all the baby hair stuff, I'm gonna go ahead and take my bone defy, which is basically just identical to the hair topic, which gives you like those tiny little hair fibers that look just like you have thicker edges, more hair, it camouflages any type of thinning 
OG Missing Gear Projects, and I love it. You get double the amount for half the price of versus using Topic, and I absolutely love um, using it. It just works for me. You don't have to have big edges. You can also use it just to have a really great blend with your weight. So I definitely would highly suggest using either one product. There's a whole bunch of different ones on Amazon and eBay or wherever else. But yes, for the most part with this outro, she's a beauty, very typical, basic, universal hair. So if you like something easy, then definitely check out Sam's Beauty for this one here. Okay, you guys, so let's just talk about this wig. For one, it really reminds me of the Sensational Custom Cap one, which is Perm Romance. I did that one like months, months ago. Um, it looked just like this. The ends were straight like this. The hair was curled like this right here. It was the middle part. But you know what's so funny? I used to curl my hair like this all the time. Like, well, my wigs, not my hair, my wigs. I would always layer it right here and I don't know why I stopped doing that. I just don't know why. But I always liked this kind of like Charlie's Angel type of style, like Farrah Fawcett, you know what I'm saying? So, cause she would wear her hair like this all the time. And so like this was like the really popping thing. So I do like this wig. Um, I just wish that the hair texture was a lot different, but for the most part, it's a really nice wig. It's not too fancy, it's not too under fancy. It's just like, you know, basic but cute basic you know i like cute always but so definitely check out this one here by outre um like i said i just wish the texture was a little bit different because it'll just tangle less and then also if it's like a light yakky texture it just makes it look more natural and it also makes it look more fuller so you guys know i love a lot of hair like i really really do like a lot of hair i just like full hair i just like it really really full but if you're not into like really big, full, dense hair, then definitely just check this one out. I do like it. You can check anything out on Sam's Beauty. They got like a bunch of stuff. So on that note, ladies, you know, make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think of this unit. Make sure you thumbs the video up because you love me so much. Just as much as I love you guys. I love you guys and I'll see you soon.